today's food for thought comes from the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians verses 33 and 34, which reads, Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Something that all of us must understand is that God, he did not put us in this world to be by ourselves. No, we are surrounded by a lot of people, aren't we? As we desire to accomplish our goals and to take possession of what the Lord has promised to us, we should understand that it is incredibly difficult to do it all on our own. Is it impossible? Probably not. But again, it is incredibly hard. It is incredibly difficult. So. To tackle your dreams, to take possession of the blessings that God has for you, it is a good thing. It is good for you to use the help of others. We all learned while we were growing up that it is easier for us to take on a challenge as a group rather than to try and take on our challenges by ourselves. You see, with the help of those that are around you, you can be lifted up when you have been worn out. With the help of all of those that are around you, you can be encouraged when you're falling in despair. So with this in mind, it is important that you are surrounded by good help rather than foolish help. I hope you understand what I mean by that. As said in the 13th chapter of Proverbs and the 20th verse, those that walk with others that are wise, they will be wise while the companion of fools, they will be destroyed. So don't be a fool. Be sure to surround yourself with good people that are also guided by God and his word. When you're surrounded by such people, you will certainly accomplish your dreams and you will certainly take possession of what God has promised and what God has for you. Mm -hmm.